At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated trading systems are performing. Are they making money or are they losing money? In today's video, we're gonna be going over June, 2023 and how well my automated trading systems did. Before we get started, hello, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build, code, and trade my own automated trading systems with my own capital on the futures market. I have a portfolio of over 30 automated trading systems that run fully automated 24 seven and that trade my own money. If you wanna learn more about automated trading and algorithmic trading, see the links in the descriptions below to work with me. So without further ado, let's get started and go over June, 2023. All right, so for the month of June, let's go over the results. Another profitable month for me, so I'm very happy. Uh, we're on a four month win streak. Our last loss month was February and we've been winning uh, every month since. So I'm on my NinjaTrader account page. I'm gonna go to performance, select last month, which will be yeah June 1st, 2023 to end of June and hit go. And for the month, we made a total PL after commissions and slippage of $52,937.92. Uh, this is US dollars on a percentage basis. That's about a probably about a 9% return for the month. So very, very good. And uh, let's go over some of the stats. So we had 385 total trades, total of 2238 futures contracts. Uh, profitable trades was 51% expectancy. So that means every trade we made on average, it was $149 in profit, and we paid uh, over $4,000 in trading fees and commissions. Here's some of the charts of how we did. And let's talk about how the market uh, acted. So we made a lot of money near the end of the month as well, which is seems to be a recurring pattern where at the end of the month, there is a big move. Um, June 30th was the end of Q2. So there is uh, a lot of things that go on at the end of the quarter, but a lot of portfolio managers like to mark up their portfolios, meaning they have extra cash and they want to, you know, put that money in and make it work. So they're, they're buying positions. Uh, I'll pull up trading view here. Now, most of you watching know that most of my strategies trade the indexes. So the NDC, sorry. Uh, ES futures and NQ futures. And for just pull up ES. For June, it's a daily right here. So June, we had a really good trending market, right? An upward trend, a lot of days where we had big point moves, you know, on ES 50, 60 point moves. Those days, my strategies do really well, okay? A lot of my strategies are trend following. So if there is a trend, they do very, very well. So if we look at 1st of June, you know, this is June 1st, this is June 30th, big upward trend. It could be a downward trend and we could still make money, but a big upward trend, lots of volatility, we'll make money on those, on, on those types of months, you know? Days like this where there's high wicks, like up wicks, uh, this like is a bad day, 28th, where there's no real movement for that day. We lose a lot of money. A lot of our strategies get, get stopped out. So there was a couple of those. This was a big loss day for us. And I know this day was to June 14th, but overall big trending movement. And a lot of my strategies intraday um, kind of pile up and then can exit for a nice gain. So that was a great, great month in June. I'm excited for July as well. Lots of earnings for July. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll see some more volatility and continue that win streak, continue to a five month win streak, which would be insane. However, you know, could be red, could be red, could lose money, could have another bad month like February. I don't want to jinx it. I'm extremely blessed and, and lucky. You know, there, there is luck in this as well. There's lots of volatility right now. And you know, I'm going to, I'm going to milk it for whatever it's worth, right? I'm going to take it if I can take the losses. Um, as far as my portfolio, I think 
I took out this month, I think I took out three strategies that were underperforming. They all hit their max drawdown. So any strategy that hits their max drawdown, I take out my portfolio. So I took out three and I added two, um, two strategies that we developed. And if you guys didn't know, um, I do have a live strategy building session within my course where every two weeks we build strategies together. And two of those strategies I added to the portfolio and they did pretty, pretty well this, this, um, this month. So yeah, that's the, that's the month for June, 52,937.92 cents, but a 9% gain for me. And yeah, great month. I'll take it and we'll move on to the next month for July. Enjoy your Independence Day in Canada Day uh, long weekends. Uh, stay safe and um, we'll see you next week for a new video. Peace, guys. Bye.